in this video uh, we'll discuss some important theorem of graph theory uh, that is based uh, on the definitions of the graph theory that we complete in the last video lecture so in this video we'll discuss uh, some important theorem and its proof so let's discuss the first theorem is a uh, in a graph g the sum of the degree of vertices is equal to the twice the number of age it means for any graph uh, there is a vertex at here v as a vertex name v1 v2 up to vn and now uh, we need to calculate the degree of each vertex uh, that is the degree of v1 degree of v2 up to degree of vn and then after you have to take it additions so it is right uh, summation i from 1 to n degree of vi that answer is equal to the twice the number of ages means uh, we have to calculate the ages uh, in this graph a uh, number of ages and then you have to multiply by 2 so this both answer uh, will always be same in any graph so this is statement uh, and now uh, let's prove that so as we know that uh, adding the degree of all vertices involve the counting one for each age incidence with each vertex means uh, that is the definition of uh, how we can calculate the degree of vertex let us consider any vertex here d and how we can calculate the degree of d okay we need to uh, count the number of ages incidence with the d so there are three age are incidence with the d uh, so in that way we can calculate the degree of any particular vertex so any age is counting one time uh, at each vertex that so here e3 is and when we count the degree of d that is count for one time so if it is not a loop it is uh, incidence with the two different vertices here e3 is not a loop here so they are incidence with the two different vertex c and d so in uh, this case uh, it is counted twice uh, once at each vertex so here e3 is counted for two times at a plus d and at a plus a c so on the other end if it is a loop uh, here the e8 is a loop here so it is also counted twice uh, in the degree of vertex so when we count the degree of e it is a 5 here because degree of any loop is a 2 and there are remaining 3 ages are incidence with the e there so degree of e is a 5 so any loop is already counted uh, 2 times uh, for the degree so each age any age either it is a age or loop is considered 2 times for the degree so therefore the addition of degree of all vertex is even number and when we uh, calculate the degree of each vertex and then after take it addition that is already a even number that so it is uh, equal to the twice the number of ages so it is the proof uh, of this uh, theorem and now let us implement to any uh, graph uh, that is for uh, example uh, of this theorem this is a graph here uh, there are uh, four vertex and the uh, six ages are in the graph and now let us check this theorem uh, to this particular graph we need to first calculate the degree of each vertex here degree of a is a three degree of b is a uh, four degree of c is a three and degree of d is a two so take it additions three plus four plus three plus two that is a twelve and uh, second uh, things we have to calculate the uh, number of ages uh, there are six ages in the graph so multiply by two so this answer is also 12 so it is uh, verified in any graph uh, with any number of vertex any number of ages its statement uh, will always a uh, true what is statement sum of i from 1 to n degree of vi that always a uh, two times of number of ages so that is the first theorem of the graph theory now uh, let us discuss the second theorem uh, statement of the second theorem is a uh, the number of vertices of odd degree in a graph is always a uh, even means uh, any graph and you need to check the odd degree vertex and even degree vertex and the odd degree vertices in a graph is always in even number it means in even quantity so as we know that for any graph this statement is always a uh, true sum of i from 1 to n degree of vi is a 2 times of mod d means 2 times of number of ages and now we consider this sum as a odd and even degree separately 
means uh, this sum involves the such vertex with degree is even and such vertex with degree is a uh, odd so now you have to uh, separate this both path and that can be write as a uh, sum i from 1 to n degree of a that equal to such vertex whose degree is even and plus uh, such vertex uh, whose degree is a uh, odd the sum of degree of vi even here it is involve uh, uh, vertex whose degree is a uh, even and here uh, vertex is degree is a uh, odd so as we know that uh, this part is always a even number because it answer is always a two times of mod e and any number uh, we have to multiply by two that convert to the even number that is the true so this part is even number and here it is such vertex which uh, involve the degree is even so when we take addition of uh, even values that is also the even number that so this uh, part is also even number and now take difference of this value to this value so we get answer is also even number because even number minus even number that is a uh, even values that so the quantity in the left hand side of the equation 1 this quantity uh, can be expressed as a sum of two sum and each taken over vertices of even and odd degree respectively so it is the two part that we are uh, discuss and now since the left hand side of the quantity is even uh, this quantity is even here and uh, the first expressions on the right hand side is also even uh, this expre expression is also even number that so difference is also the even number clear so second expression must be the even in second expression we have uh, such vertex with degree is a uh, odd that is a uh, even number so if we consider our one example here let us take there are only three vertex which degree is a uh, odd so when we take it addition of three vertex which degree is a uh, odd so that not a uh, match with this answer that is not a even number that that is not a even quantity that let us take a uh, 1 plus 3 plus 5 so 1 plus 3 plus 5 is equal to the 9 so that is a uh, not even number that so here we have to take such quantity uh, in the sum is a even quantity that uh, whose degree is a uh, odd so then uh, answer will becomes the even number that so because in this equations above equations degree of vi is uh, odd and the total number of term in this sum must be the even to make uh, its sum as a even number that so it is the uh, theorem uh, that is we have to prove that a uh, number of vertices of odd degree in a graph is always uh, even and that is the proof of this uh, theorem so thank you watching for this video